Kim Kardashian West met President Trump at the White House Wednesday to advocate on behalf of a woman serving a life sentence. The president tweeted this picture from their meeting. Kardashian said she was there to talk prison reform and to discuss the case of Alice Marie Johnson. Johnson has served 21 years of a life sentence without the possibility of parole. The 63-year-old was convicted for a nonviolent drug offense in 1996. Kardashian West says she became aware of Johnson's story after seeing a video from the news outlet Mike. CBS News White House reporter Jacqueline Alamany joins me now. Uh, Jackie, this is such an interesting intersection of pop culture and politics and policy here. What can you tell us about the origins of this meeting? Yeah, and I, I first want to um, let everyone know that we did touch base with a representative from Alice Johnson's legal team mm -hmm. who gave us a readout of Kardashian's meeting with Trump. I mean, he did not make a decision on whether or not he's going to pardon Alice Johnson. But as you just said, um, the origins of this meeting are murky. Uh, Kim Kardashian became in touch with Jared Kushner months ago, according to Johnson's legal team, um, and they just started discussing prison reform, an issue that Kardashian um, became passionate about after seeing this video about um, this grandmother, Alice Johnson is serving a life sentence and uh, decided to, you know, um, take the case on as her own, dedicated a legal team to it, um, and ultimately ended up today at the White House uh, advocating for Johnson and for um, prison reform and sentencing reform, which is um, an Im important addition to the conversation here. Yeah, uh, and talk to me about Jared Kushner specifically. He's got a personal connection. So he's currently backing legislation that aims to lower recidivism by rehabilitating low-risk offenders. Why is this such an important issue to him? Yeah, so this has been Jared's uh, quiet pet project actually for the past year. Um, it's only really uh, become very public uh, today. And this is a, a very uh, a passion project for him because his father um, obviously served a year uh, in prison after uh, for tax evasion and campaign finance violations. And 25-year-old uh, Jared Kushner spent his um, 20s visiting his father in Alabama at a federal prison. Um, and so he, you know, according to um, friends and people within the White House, uh, decided to use his platform platform to, you know, uh, affect change on something that he's personally passionate about. And he's still very close with his father and, and speaks with him on a consistent basis. It's interesting to hear that because we all remember candidate Trump on the campaign trail saying, you know, I'm the candidate of law and order. Right. You know, that was a controversial uh, phrase for some people um, for, for many different reasons. And in the past, the Trump administration has pushed for stricter sentencing specifically when it comes to drug offenses. So what are the chances of the president in this particular case granting a pardon? Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting juxtaposition position here, right, because you have to see the celebrity president with the reality uh, TV show star of our generation, and that makes a lot of sense to us. Um, but on the other hand, this is, as you said, the law and order president who uh, actually has advocated for tougher um, mandatory minimums, uh, who has an attorney general who says that drug laws made our country safer and has wanted to take the country backwards and um, has rolled back a lot of Obama-era um, reforms, prison reforms. Um, so, you know, it's unclear whether or not uh, the president will grant um, Johnson a pardon, but we do know he is susceptible to these um, celebrity uh, interactions. He just pardoned Jack Johnson last week after a Sylvester Stallone raised the issue with him. So, you know, while Johnson's legal team wants us to look past the celebrity of Kim Kardashian and really focus on the case, um, it might be very well Kim herself who leads uh, the president to pardoning Johnson. Right. Interesting develops. Jackie, you are on the beat that just keeps giving. <laughs> Jackie Alamany, thank you so much. Thanks, Jackie. Elaine.